A good YouTube thumbnail is almost crucial in order for you to get video views and for people to just click on your video. So today I'm going to be showing you a super simple, easy and quick way to do this. And the best part about it is that it is free. I'm not cutting any corners today. I'm just going to get straight to the chase and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this and how many other YouTubers I know do this for free. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to create a free Canva account, which is super simple. All you have to do is put your email and create a password and boom, you're done. So that is free, as I said. Next, you're gonna be going over here to templates. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different templates you can look through, but what I like to do is I like to just go to the search bar and I type YouTube thumbnails. You click on that, and then it'll just bring up the exact size that you need that's going to work for the thumbnail so you don't have to worry about sizes. Okay guys, so you're going to notice that as you go through these and hover over them, some of them will say free and some of them will say paid or premium. So I always choose the ones that are for free because, you know, free. And you can just find some that are just as cool as the ones that you pay for. You just have to go through them, you know, just scroll through, find a cool one. It's basically just a base, guys, because you can edit it. The sky is the limit. You can add stuff, you can take stuff out kind of just make it your own and experiment with it. So that's why I always go for the free ones and I'm gonna show you guys all the tools that I use in order to make all of my YouTube thumbnails and I'm just gonna show you guys how I start my process. So let's find one that we can experiment with. Okay, so I like this one. Let's just go with this and let's make it our own, edit it nice and cool. So it has a nice base. I really like the background and say this was something that I was making my YouTube video about, something with thrifting, this would be perfect. So I'm going to choose this. I mean, even if it wasn't about thrifting, guys, the background is really naturey and really cool. This could be anything, you know, you could make this whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna click on elements over here to the left and you can look up anything you want, guys, in this box. I'm gonna look up arrow because I like to use arrows for some reason, it just makes me attracted to thumbnails on YouTube. So I like to use them in my thumbnails. But guys, you can look up anything you want to in here. The sky is the limit, like I said. And you can always hover over all of these too. Make sure that they're free. Make sure it doesn't say pro next to it or paid just so you could avoid all of those fees. But I'm going to click over here in the top left hand corner of the image where it says edit image. And it's going to give you a list of options you can choose to edit your arrow. This will be editing just the arrow like I said, but it's going to give you so many things you can choose from. Like if I click duotone, it'll make it a different color. So I love this feature because it gives you lots of options of what you can do to your little image that you put in there. And you can put a twist on really anything. All right, next feature I'm gonna show you guys is if you go down to the next tab, which says uploads, this is such a cool feature because you can go to upload file and you can choose any file on your computer to upload. And then once you do that, you can add that picture to your background. So it's so awesome because anything, you can add anything in there and it just gives it such a cool touch if you add your own personal pictures that you take, makes it super easy that the upload feature is literally right there in the program itself. This is one of my favorite features, you guys. It just makes it so easy, but yes, moving on. You can also edit the images, like let's say transparency. You can go over here and you can make it less transparent. It's just the click of a button makes it so simple. I mean, that looks pretty cool. So there's just so many cool little things you can do to make it personable. And I like always messing with all the little tools because there's so many that you can use. But yeah, you can just edit your background image, any image that you put in there. You can even take out the background. I think that does cost money to take a background out of an image. But I will upload another YouTube video of how to take the background out of a regular image for free. That will be another video that I'm going to create. But let me move on and show you guys how to add some cool text to your thumbnail. So I like to choose the ones that are bright and colorful and of course free, like I said, always hover over, make sure that they're the free ones. But there's a bunch of cool free ones that I like to choose from. And um, this is one of my top ones because it's glowy and it's super bright and pretty. But yes, I will show you guys an example. Um, look at this one guys, it's so cool. And you can just mess with it, make it however colorful you want and however bright and glowy. You guys can even make the glow more bright, whatever 
it is. Just like I said, mess with all the little tools that go along with each little uh, feature that you put in there. But as you can see, I'm just messing around with it. I'm gonna add another one in there, type something else, just so it pops a little bit. But all of these are super simple and easy to use. It's kind of just going through it all and seeing what's for free and what looks good in here and just kind of customizing it to what you think suits your video and what looks good, what pops. But yeah, I just like to do this and kind of just experiment and see what I can do for free on here. And I always impress myself with what I can create on here. And a lot of people are surprised that I edit these myself. Um, like I said, this is just an experiment one, guys, where I'm just showing you how I do it and how I go about my process. But um, by all means, this is not a very good one. I just wanted to show you guys how I do it step by step. And you can also go on my YouTube channel, look through all my thumbnails, and just kind of get some ideas of what I do and how I make it pop. Jumping back to elements, if we go back there, you can see that you can go to all the different tabs like photos, graphics, videos. There's just so many things if you go through the tabs if you want to add stuff, but I never add anything like that to my thumbnails, but say for like something else, if you want to add audio, you know, this is a great tool for anything, but for YouTube thumbnails, it is just ideal. Okay, so I'm going to say that I'm happy with that, and I'm going to go up here to download, and you can choose any file type that you want, but I always go with PNG, and I'm going to press download. So here it goes, and it's really fast, you guys. There are no issues with anything having to be paid for since we chose all the free stuff. And as you can see, it is just downloading over here in the corner. Once it is fully finished, you can double click, and there it is. You can then save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it, and voila, it's all done. No issues with having to pay for anything. And this is how I do it every single time. Even if I can afford it to pay for any to be made, I just don't. I always go the free route. And why not do it myself? You know, if I can and the features are there, I might as well take advantage of them. So that is how I do it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped all of you people out there who were looking for a way to edit your thumbnails for free. I know I got a bunch of questions about this um, when I first started YouTubing and I wanted to just let you guys all know because it's something that a lot of people don't know how to do and they don't know the platforms to use. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.